A few years ago, I was in Manila for nine months, and I had met several of the blind massage therapists. And this one group started their own cooperative. The conversations that we would have would very often start with kind of really philosophical questions. How we perceive, how we see, how we navigate through space. I realized that these are the same questions that I have in my abstract photographs. So I'm interested in that space between a group and an individual and what that space looks like. The photographs are very abstract and the video is very much based in the real. Parang ano na, na transfer na yung sense of seeing namin sa ano, kamay mm -hmm. sa touch. So kung baga parang nakikita ninyo ang mundo pero sa ibang paraan, hindi sa pagtingin, no? Oo, oh, sa kamay. Sa kamay. Kukupit, diba sabi, tingnan mo to, oh, ang ganda nito. Pahawak nga, pahawak. Ganun ang ano namin salita. Mm -hmm. Hindi yung, di ba sa inyo? Tingnan ko nga. Oh, mm -hmm. Diba? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yan ang pagkakaiba namin. The photographs are of these life-size Pippa rooms that I've been building for several years, asking, well, what is that outline of an individual? What does the outline of a group look like? I was really interested in these certain points where the three-dimensional body might become two-dimensional, or the three-dimensional body might sink into the room. So there were these kind of ruptures or tears into this kind of paper membrane. Or there's, there might be this a relationship of partial disappearance of either camouflage, of copying, or mimicking the pattern of the room. So I was interested in that moment or space in the photograph that I could translate visually where the body was both present on the verge of disappearing, but at the same time resisting. Mm -hmm.